guys, it is currently 8.49 in the morning on Monday, September 16th, and I am currently working on Edit 8 of Man of Darkness. I started Edit 8 on Saturday, um, and I just haven't given you an update because it was the weekend. I didn't do any editing yesterday, um, so I've only done two editing sessions on it so far, and I have the um, prologue up through Chapter 5 edited so far. Um, prologue, chapter 1 and 2 happened on Saturday, and 3, 4, and 5 happened today, uh, this morning. So I don't have a word count for you on the um, amount of numbers or words <laughs> I have edited so far because I am also editing a different book at the same time, so they are both currently going into my little edit thing here, so I don't have them separated. Um, so I don't know how many words I've edited, but I know it's at least... 6,000. That's all I know for certain. Um, I haven't made any changes yet, which is great. There is a change that I will probably have to make to all of the chapter headers. Um, it doesn't show up on Word. There's no issues on Word, but when it's exported as a PDF, the chapter headers have gray bars on the sides. Um, so depending on what that looks like in KDP, I will probably have to change it. Um, well, <laughs> if it looks, if it has those bars on it, in the KDP formatting, I'll have to change it. If it doesn't, I'm not going to. Um, so if there's no issue once it's put in KDP, I will not change it because there's no point in going through the extra effort to change all 20 of them again, or uh, 22 of them, sorry. Um, but if there is an issue, I'll change it. It's no big deal either way. Um, it's not, you know, an absolute killer <laughs> to do or anything. Um, it just takes a while because designer, which I do love very dearly, um, because of the way it works and all the stuff they have on there and whatnot, um, it almost never works on my computer. It's drastically slow and sometimes I just don't have, you know, three hours to make 22 chapter headers. So I have to make them all on my phone and save them all to my phone and then upload them all to Google Photos and then download them all from Google Photos to the computer so that way I can put them all into Word. Um, and that's still... A shorter process than it takes to do it on the computer it just still takes a while um, so I am going to record on my phone for a moment just to show you um, the PDF on my tablet um, because I record with my tablet because the audio is better and the camera is better uh, even though it's an older device <laughs> but uh, but I'm gonna record on my phone briefly just to show it to you show you what everything looks like and we'll go from there Alrighty, so I always email the PDF to myself, and then you can download it, and I always open mine in Kindle. So that's what I've done here, and this is the gray bar that I'm talking about. Um, but otherwise, once it's open in Kindle, you can browse the pages down here, you can bookmark them. Um, I bookmarked this one because that was the page that I needed to reach today to stay on track. Um, because I needed to edit 25 pages the first day, and then since I skipped yesterday, I needed to edit, like, 27 today, I think. Um, so, that's where I am now. But, this is what it looks like to <laughs> just go through them. Um, and everything's displayed nicely here. You can just swipe through them, which is great. And then where you were, you can just click that, and it will take you back and you can get there. So that's how I do my PDF edit, which is edit 8. Again, um, everything is fully formatted. It lets you see what it looks like roughly in paperback. Um, obviously, it will print slightly different, but this is mostly what it looks like. And again, if this shows up once I put it into KDP, which we will learn together once this edit is done, I will go through and change all of them. Um, I did change it on the prologue, which I'll show you. I made this one transparent, none of the others are, and that appears to be the issue because once it's in transparent, that doesn't show. And I also noticed with these, uh, my little scene breaks, they look fine now, but originally I had them, I had the PDF exported or saved. Um, you can save it as two different options on Word. You can save it either as, um, you can save it as a... PDF optimized just for online viewing, or you can save it as a PDF optimized for online viewing or printing. And when you just have it for online viewing, it made this thing super pixelated and blurry. 
But once I switched it over to um, the other one, <laughs> being able to print off line, it's much neater and it looks like it does in the Word document, uh, which is great. We'll see what it looks like on KDP, see if I can keep it, but it looks much better now than it did before. But that is what it looks like when I'm editing here on um, Kindle, the PDF version, whatever. And I am... Uh, making progress. I'm on page 58 so far out of 177. So we're getting there. This should be done by Friday and then we'll get into KDP stuff then, but uh, progress is coming along, <laughs> I guess. Um, I probably won't get back around to more editing today, which is fine. I met how many pages I needed to hit, but um, I should get back around to it tomorrow, hopefully, as long as things continue to go my way today. Um, and then I will see you guys then for another update on progress. And hopefully we won't have to make any changes to this one. But we'll see. <laughs> Regardless, I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it is currently 9.15pm on September 20th, and I just finished um, edit 8 of Man of Darkness not too long ago. 34 minutes ago. Um, I made a few changes this edit and I need to put them into Microsoft Word, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, let me bring up a separate Google Docs tab so that way I can tell you how many changes I made. Um, and then I'll show you the changes that I made. Um, because they're pretty important that I missed them in the previous ones, so I'll show you what they are. Show you that it's okay if you still have mistakes in edit 8. Um, there's pretty much always going to be mistakes, so it's okay. Um, I made six changes. So first, I'm going to plug in my flash drive here with um, Man of Darkness on it and open it in the Word document before I show you the corrections because while I'm accepting them on my phone, I'm going to be making the corrections on the Word doc. So give me a moment and then I'll be back with you. Alrighty, so I have Microsoft Word up here with um, Man of Darkness already open and then I have the Google Docs of it open here. So. The first two corrections are the same thing, just with different words. Um, sometimes if I type on my phone, or even if you type on the desktop of Google Docs, um, like in this case it's the word what's in the word won't, and I will show it to you in a second. Um, but if you need an apostrophe and you accidentally leave it out, if you allow Docs to make that correction, the apostrophe is straight instead of curved. So I didn't notice that during the other edits, but you can see here how the one that's crossed out, which is the one on this side, um, it's a, it's just a straight down apostrophe. I'm trying to get it to focus on it. Um, I can't really get it to focus that well. Um, but either way, it's it should look like that. It should be curved, but it's just straight up. Um, so I corrected that, and I'm going to correct that on the Word document as well which isn't too hard, um, as long as there's a part in the paragraph that you're working on um, that's pretty easy to pick out. In this case, the words always quit, because I know that's not going to be elsewhere. Uh, it's pretty easy to replace. So I'm going to go ahead and fix those two, and then save the document again. <laughs> and then um, on here, I'm going to also accept them, so that way they go away. So then the third correction, um, the original sentence is messing with a natural order, but I've changed it to the because there's no other instance in which they say a natural order, so I don't know why that was there or how I missed it, <laughs> to be honest with you. Okay, and then again, saving once you make the correction, accepting the suggestion on Google Docs. Um, and as with all of the other edits, you don't have to suggest the edits to yourself, although I do suggest suggesting the edits during edit 8, um, so that way later on you can go back and add them into the Word document as well. If you choose to do it that way, that's up to you. Um, suggestion 4, we'll see if I can get it to focus on it, it probably won't. <laughs> you can sort of see it. Um, the quotes are in the wrong spot over here. They're facing the end of this sentence rather than the beginning of the dialogue, so I fixed that. Um, that would be correction four, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that on here. Again, 
I didn't notice that in any of the other edits and because it's um, a quote like um, most softwares don't pick out quote issues they pick out apostrophes and commas um, sometimes correctly sometimes not correctly and that's about it um, suggestion five that's helpful this one just says made a suggestion <laughs> I know what it is but still um, here originally shapeshifter didn't have a space between it and the period of this sentence so I added the space uh, so I'm going to do that now and that actually gives us an extra word at least on Microsoft anyway I don't know if it um, already counted it or not on Google Docs um, and the final one is here um, it says, I'm not going to show this one to you because it's a huge spoiler if I do, but I can read you the beginning of the sentence. Um, Miles' breath caught in his throat. There should be an apostrophe S, so Miles' breath. Um, you can also do it just an apostrophe, but I was taught apostrophe S. Throughout the years, they have taught both versions a million times. This is the one I go with because it is the one I learned when I was in school. So, S apostrophe S. Um, when it comes to names so that's what I'm doing but I'm gonna go ahead and find that one which is pretty easy because it's the only instance of miles breath <laughs> okay so all six um, suggestions have been made to the word document and have been accepted on the Google Docs so now I'm going to get us a word count as soon as Google Docs saves this so for this edit, we ended up with 32,890 words, which is exactly what we had last edit. So on Google Docs, that shapeshifter thing that I was talking about, on Microsoft Word, those two where they were joined by the period and the quotes, um, that was counted as one word, but on Google Docs it counted as two the whole time. So there's that. Um, kind of just depends on the editing thing you're using. Um, they all count words differently. so settle on one and go from there. Today is the 20th, so then on my little thingamabob, thingamabob over here, um, this thingamabob, I'm going to go ahead and write, um, I'm going to note that there were six corrections, but no word change. I apologize for that noise my dog just made, she just sprinted down the hallway and jumped in here, so if you heard her lip smack, I apologize. <laughs> um, plus six corrections and plus minus zero words. So I'm going to take that off and put it in with the rest of the Man of Darkness um, sticky notes. And then that's all for edit eight. The rest of anything else that I'm going to do is technically formatting and cover related. So that's going to be the next video. So, um, hooray. Um, <laughs> that's all I have for the moment then. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get into any of the cover formatting stuff tonight, or if I'm going to do it over the weekend or Monday or what. Um, but I really want to order the proof by the end of this month. So, the sooner I get into it, the better. But regardless, edit date is done. Everything is made. Um, I just have to go through and do the rest of the formatting and design the rest of the cover and edit a whole bunch of videos. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next one. But with all that said, thank you so much for watching the series up until this point. I hope it's been useful or helpful in some way. And hopefully I will see you throughout the rest of the journey into self-publishing Man of Darkness in October.